Hey everyone, Techni here with a really quick video today, and I apologize if this video seems just thrown together and really quickly whipped up. Yeah? Hey, I thought you were whipping up a product review, not whipping up a batch of brownies. Well, what we have here today is a Logitech G Pro gaming headset. And you might be asking yourself, hey Techni, why the heck are you reviewing the old G Pro headset? And honestly, why am I and why I want to get this video out to you guys real quick? Because you can find this headset for about $39.99 just about anywhere right now. And spoiler alert, it's totally worth it. By the way, affiliated link right down there in the description. Hey, I appreciate the support. Now, if you are interested in the new G Pro headset right here, I did also do a full detailed review on that. And also at the end of this video, I will discuss what's the main differences from the old G Pro headset to the new G Pro headset. All right, so inside of the box, what you're gonna have is your headset here. You have a splitter, your microphone, which is detachable with a windscreen on it that you can remove right here. And then some replacement ear pads. All right, so as y'all know where we have to start and that is gonna be with comfort here. Now with the Logitech G Pro headset, on the box and looking at it all online, I saw these ear cups and I thought, wow, man, those things look incredibly soft and cushy, you know? Now again, putting them on your head, it's not uncomfortable by any means. It's a very light, I don't wanna say very light, but it is a light clamping force but as you can see when I shake I get a very little bit of movement nothing major by any means but the clamping force is just perfect I wear glasses all the time it doesn't push into my frames or anything it's a really nice fit but again going back to those ear cups that I was talking about thinking that they're really soft and plush right there they are plush, but they're not incredibly soft, if that makes sense. That really doesn't at all, does it? And what I mean by that is whenever you put it on your head, they don't really sink into your head, if you catch my drift right there. You know, they don't just really press into there and kind of hold their shape. They just kind of go on there and sit on your head. But that's not a bad thing, because like I said, how they are soft but not plush, and the clamping force is light, Again, that combination of it all right there just makes them fit perfect right there. Because again, they're not pressing into your head. You don't have pressure points anywhere. It's not hurting by any means. Now also, as far as the ear cups right here, as you can see, they're quite thin on the outside there. And you'd think that'd be a bad thing, but it's actually pretty nice because you have plenty of space for your ear. And no, your ears do not touch the inside of the speakers right there. At least mine don't. But that's also why I think we're missing that plushness right there because all that foam is locked into that little small area rather than if it was a little bit wider right there, I think that foam would have a little bit more uh, space to breathe right there and kind of, you know, condense down right and form to the shape of your head. But again, it's locked into that small area. Now also in your box, as I showed you, you get some extra ear cups here. And let me tell you what, these ear cups, I don't even know what the heck they're made of, but they are horrible. And also as far as the headband right here, you have plenty of padding going across that, very soft from end to end right there. And again, it just feels fantastic on the head. All right, so let's go right into the build here. And again, starting right off where I was saying they're lightweight. Again, they are incredibly light. Whenever you put them on your head here, they just feel like they're floating. You really almost forget that there's a headset on your head. And yes, that is because the majority of headset is built out of plastic here. But every little plastic part on it feels very durable. I mean, I can stretch these guys out, twist them up and everything. As you see, we have that full swivel here. I can fold them flat, a little bit of swivel out this way, and then some movement within the ear cups here. So again, kind of backtracking on comfort, you have plenty of fit for any head shape. But again, whenever you twist that or you're putting it on, you don't really have this one dedicated pressure point. Because again, if you're pressing it out or again, twisting it up, it's moving around on you the whole time. So you're not just going on one pressure point. Now your 3.5 cable for the headset right here is detached as you can see, which is a great plus because if you snag it on something or rip it, you can get a replacement or again, it's not just going to rip straight out of your headset. Now it is a braided cable and it feels incredibly durable, but not too stiff. It definitely moves around for you right there. You also have some inline controls on your headset right here with your volume wheel and then a mic mute or mic active button, which also as well feels very durable. All right, so as far as comfort and build right there, I think we got a complete win on our hand right here. Is it the best? No, not by any means, but again, for this current deal, I think it's a complete steal in those two categories. But let's get into sound. All right, so as far as sound, I tested this on every single gaming device from the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, PC gaming, edited a whole video with these, listened to music, and watched videos. And honestly, 
it sounded pretty stinking good across every single device. Now, yes, unfortunately on PlayStation, as we all know, when we go 3.5 in a controller, the volume drops just a little bit right there. But honestly, with this headset, they still sounded pretty good. It still sounded very immersive and punchy right there. It was one of the better 3.5 sounding headsets I have tested on PlayStation 4. Now, as far as every other device, they sounded fantastic. I would say a little bit low end heavy, kind of with that bass and that mid kind of jumbled together a little bit. No, they didn't sound muddy by any means, but again, I felt like the mids and the bass were kind of a little bit together right there, if that makes sense. So you did have that punch and you had that rumble, but again, the mids kind of jumped in there a little bit and almost flattened it out. But you also had your trebles right over here backing it all up and it sounded fantastic. Playing a lot of Call of Duty, I've been playing a lot of the gunfight lately and you know you need to really catch your uh, footsteps and everything with that and I really got very, very precise footsteps. If someone was above me or back around the corner to me, I was able to really pinpoint those footsteps and it sounded fantastic. And also to my surprise, I edited a complete video with this headset, another G Pro item coming next week. You better subscribe for that one because it's a hot one. But using these editing that entire video, I'm mean, I was very, very happy with my experience with them. Very crisp, very potent, very natural sounding. Again, I loved them. I didn't want to take them off. Sometimes I use headsets when I'm editing a video. I'm like, all right, that doesn't sound real natural. Too much low end and whatnot, you know, it just doesn't sound right. But these sounded incredibly crisp editing a video as well. So all in all, as far as sound, I was very happy with my experience gaming with them. Again, across every single platform. All right, so now as far as the microphone right here, as you can see, it is detachable. You do have that windscreen that you remove if you desire. And and on the microphone here, you can see a little notch right there, so you know you put it in the correct direction into the headset, bam, connects right into there, and this thing can mold into whichever position you want, and it stays there perfectly. But let's go on and listen to this mic and see if we get a win on this as well. All right, so we are now testing the microphone on the Logitech G Pro Gaming headset, and I do have the windscreen on the microphone, and the microphone's about two inches from my mouth. Now, what I want to test right now is the inline control, the mute button right here on the 3.5. So I'm going to test it right now. So that little click you're hearing right there, it's not noise coming through the microphone or anything like that. What you're hearing is actually the click within the controls right there. So yeah, people are gonna hear that mutant right there, but again, it's just that faint little bit right there. So nothing deal breaking by any means, but all in all, I think this microphone is pretty darn good. Really stinking good, actually. All right, so as far as that mic test right there, wow, what a shocker. It is incredibly good. Again, that little click you're hearing right there is just this. It's the click of it going active to mute right there. It's not noise coming through the wire or anything. It's just a little click right there because, again, your active and mute button right there is quite firm, and you do have that little click going run from the other. All right, so the Logitech G Pro Gaming headset, the older version right here, I think it's a complete win. At 39 bucks, it is just absolutely phenomenal. At regular MSRP, I don't know. I mean, you're getting into a big market at that regular MSRP price, which I think these guys are like right around 80 or 90 bucks, you know what I mean? But right now at that $39.99, you cannot go wrong with these guys. Absolute fantastic deal. But again, like I was stating in the beginning, some of you might be asking, well, hey, should I consider the new Logitech G Pro headset and what are the differences? And let me tell you, aesthetically and looks and build, I mean, these things are completely different. Now, number one, the biggest thing you can see is the new Logitech G Pro headset has that very popular, very known HyperX build type headset, right? Now, they are still incredibly lightweight, but you do lose that swivel within the ear cups. The ear pads are much, much more plush on these guys. They should put these on there and then you got a nice combo. But anyways, when you put these guys on here, they don't have a really tight clamping force either. I kind of put these more or less at that medium clamping force. But again, the biggest stinker on these as far as comfort for me is a lack of swivel because I get that pressure point right here on my jawline rather than in the back right there. So I got to say that the old G Pro is much more comfortable. And again, kind of going back to the HyperX style right there or that build, they are built completely different. Again, these guys have that metal arm right there when this headset's pretty much completely plastic rather than just the metal extenders there but that doesn't mean much this little deceiving metal arm right there you're still going into plastic brackets down here and plastic brackets up here so as far as durability I think they're the exact same across the board now number one the biggest difference here is the sound quality again with the old G Pro having 40 millimeter drivers with a range from 20 to 20 thousand right there the new G Pro is using 50 millimeter drivers with also a range of 20 to 20 thousand but with the 50 millimeter drivers on the new G Pro here I feel like it's open 
opened up a lot more and it really gives that basses space, the mids and then the highs. And again, everything just kind of complements a little bit better on the new G Pro headset here. Now the new G Pro can also connect by USB into your PC and then you get access to the G Hub software and you can get in there and tweak all your settings and everything. So as far as sound, I give the new G Pro a mild advantage right there, maybe a little bit more than a mild. They do sound a little bit better, but not again, not world changing. Now also as far as mic right here, I feel like the new G Pro just sounds a little bit more clear, not as nasally, not as high pitched. Again, not a drastic amount, not a world changing amount by any means. I still think the old G Pro, as you guys just heard, I think that microphone sounds fantastic. Now the new G Pro headset does also come in an X variant, the G Pro X headset. I know a lot of people always say, oh, hey man, well, this is the G Pro X. This is not the G Pro X. This is just the new G Pro. The G Pro X has the blue software and you'll see a little blue logo right down there on the bottom. And what that does, it doesn't give you a better mic on the headset or anything. It pretty much gives you access to the blue software on there so you can really tweak and dial your microphone into your liking or your settings right there so as far as using it on the x you'll have more options and everything but i do think your microphone also sounds fantastic on this bass one right here but again as far as that microphone i don't think it's a decision factor to say oh hey with well, the microphone so much better on this one than the old one here so i mean all in all like seriously here i would recommend the old g pro headset i love the new g pro headset minus the lack of swivel i cannot stand that but again, at this price of $39.99, I don't feel like the differences between the two really justify spending, you know, all that extra money for this new one. These guys coming in again at 40 bucks. These guys coming in at right around 100 bucks. I'd go with the old ones. But hey, let me know what you think about the G Pro headset or either of them. Do you own the new ones or the old ones? And what do you think about them? Were you able to scoop it up for this deal here? I think this deal is absolutely fantastic as I stated through the entire video. And yes, I highly recommend them at this current price. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on a Logitech G Pro gaming headset right here. I hope I was able to save you a little bit of money and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.